Hey there. So it is super hot in Florida and the summers have very high humidity and extreme heat. So I haven't been, I've let my garden go basically, which there's not a whole lot. Sorry, there's not a whole lot you can grow in Florida in the summer. There is a few things. For instance, there's uh, sweet potatoes, Malabar spinach, there's some tropical things you could grow. But for the most part, I don't grow in the summer, mostly because I really don't like the, um, being out in the heat. The humidity is really extreme, so the times that I can find to work in the garden are like early morning or right before dark. And for instance, today it's cloudy and breezy because there's a storm blowing in, so right before the rains can be a good time. But it's the end of July and August and September is a great time to get our fall gardens going in Florida. So in this video, I am gonna take you along in cleaning up my garden and getting it all ready to plant for the fall. So last fall was the first time that I have grown in this area. We moved to this farm about a year and a half ago and the first spring I didn't I didn't get anything going and this area is actually old cattle pens and we had some cows in here when we worked them so the ground had some manure and stuff on it when we tilled it in and then I've also put down some old hay and some rabbit manure and it did really well we um it wasn't super organized my kids wanted to help and they put some stuff in weird places and like we had really tall sunflowers in the middle, which made it a little difficult for watering. Um, so it wasn't as organized as I would like it, but it got us going and we did get potatoes, green beans. We got a few things out of it, so it was good. My main purpose was to just get something established, get some things in the ground and get going. As you can see, it has really overgrown this summer. Um, and I was at least kind of keeping up with the weeds and then it just got too hot and I went away and you know, you just let it slip a little and there it goes. So I have started cleaning up this section over here because I do have some sweet potatoes in. They look a little wilty today because, and that bug is really loud. It's really hot and we haven't had rain in a day or two. But a lot of my flowers have done okay. Now this marigold got so big, it just tipped over and split, sadly. This was like a massive bush. It was a really gorgeous marigold. But the zinnias, I still have some sunflowers, and I have just left these because every time I check on things, there is butterflies galore. So I've just left these, plus I wanted them to go to seed so that I could reuse them. So you can see some of the zinnias, zinnias that are coming up all on their own so this section over here I'm gonna keep as my flowers and there's already some coming up so I don't want to till this area I just want to clean it up which is why I've just started ripping stuff up by hand and then down the center here is more flowers so I'm gonna carry on with flowers in the middle and then this section over here we did get some zucchinis but not very many. It really kind of got too hot. Uh, this section over here, I think I'm going to completely start from scratch. I'm going to rip all, all the big stuff out, like the sunflowers. And then I'm going to have my husband till it up and just kind of start over because it's a little overwhelming. And like I put a lot of the stuff I pulled up in that corner and then it just overgrew. And I do have a little tomato plant over here that planted itself. Uh, I don't even know where that came from. We didn't even grow any tomatoes, but by the looks of them, they're like the heavenly Marzanos that you get in the little bags from the grocery store. I think one of my kids must have chucked a tomato out and it grew. But again, I didn't tie it up. I didn't do anything to it. So what I'm going to do in this video is a progression of us getting this all ready. So before I even put any seeds in the ground, we're just going to get this kind of back to a blank slate except for my flowers because I want to keep them going. And actually in the middle of these flowers here, that's actually a basil plant, which is now starting to go to seeds. So I actually want some of those seeds 
and the butterflies are happy with the basil as well. So it, this is going to take a few different video sessions because it's so hot and I only can work out here for small, small amounts of time. And I got to try to get this grass out so these sweet potatoes have a chance. I really don't know. So I've only grown sweet potatoes one other time. These, I was just showing the sweet potatoes and I've only grown sweet potatoes one other time and it was with a community garden and we all put them in and then I moved before the harvest. So I, unfortunately, I didn't get to see how that went from start to finish. Okay, so there's a few basic tools that I always have with me when I'm in the garden. One is my little, I call it a hand rake. I do so much with my hand rake. Uh, there might be something better, but in our sandy soil, we don't have a lot of rocks. So I find this really useful. The other one is a, um, I'm gonna call it another rake. It's like my hand rake, but it's, it's long. So I don't have to bend down to use this one. Another one that I really love is my stirrup hoe. This works really good when you wanna weed as your plants are coming up and it loosens the soil and lets drainage happen. And this is just probably like my favorite weeding tool. And then lastly, I have a pitchfork with me today, mostly because I'm gonna like scoop up some old plants and stuff. And there's a lot of bugs and stuff on there. And that way I can just scoop it up with the pitchfork. And I'm gonna throw it in my wheelbarrow <clears throat> so that I can take them over to the compost pile. Okay, I've gotten the half of my garden that had the sweet potatoes and the flowers in pretty decent shape. I've got a wheelbarrow full of weeds to go over to the compost pile. And Dan's gonna go put the tiller on the little 1025 John Deere. And he's gonna till up that other half for me. It probably only needs four or five rows of tilling, so it's only gonna take him a few minutes. <laughs>
quick and easy. It was a lot faster than me weeding all that. So we'll probably go around the edges now with the weed whacker and just clean up some of the grass that's grown around the back edges. So here's the half I wanted to leave and just do by hand. And as you can see, I've gotten most of the dead flowers and weeds out. And it's a, it's a little unorganized. So I just kind of got to figure out what I'm going to do over on this side. Maybe I'll just do all cut flowers because I really love to grow flowers. So that's it for our garden prep. This is gonna sit for a couple days. And then I'm gonna put the sprinkler on this half and get the ground moist because it hasn't rained for a few days and it's been super hot. And then I'll start planning out what I'm gonna put in this side. And then we'll work out what we're gonna put in this side. And we'll do a video in a couple weeks when everything is up and growing and let you know what we're planning for this fall. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.